In this tutorial, I'll try to cover some of the features in Sculptress. Sculptress is a sister program of uh, ZBrush, and it actually allows you to move in and out of ZBrush, um, and it's good for making organic shapes like faces, uh, fruit, or you know anything pretty much organic. You know you can use it for. It's pretty neat, and um, the program is free too. Okay, let's get started. If you notice down at the bottom, there's the word front underneath the face. We're looking at the front view. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to rotate this so we can actually view the different views. So it will allow you to snap the, um, the object into that axis by simply getting it close and pressing the Z key on the keyboard. Now let's try the same thing with the back. Uh, press Z, and you notice how it aligns um, the head. And same thing here. That's left view, and it snaps it into place. And now we're going back. Let's tilt it a little bit to to kind of show what it does. Okay, here you go. And um, the center line is the center point of the object. And you can turn that on and off by pressing the um, uh, symmetry button. And it's you know you, you want to stay in symmetry because uh, what you do to one side you do to the other. So that's the best way to work unless you want to deform one side and not the other. Okay. Right now the draw tool is selected. You can actually change the brush size by scrolling the middle mouse wheel and holding down shift at the same time and you can see how it changes uh, if you notice there it's large and it shrinks down okay and you have several different tools here uh, you've, you've got a crease tool here where you can actually make a crease in an object you can now if you want to invert it uh, by the way uh, control Z is the undo command. There's no undo command on the the screen. So let's uh, invert the tool and you'll notice it pulls outward. And that works the same way for all of these tools. Whether it's the grab tool or, or whether it's the draw tool, inflate tool, or pinch. Uh, the invert item allows you to uh, switch back and forth between those two. So let's undo that crease I made. And uh, you can actually customize brushes. Uh, if I select the draw tool, I'm going to enable this. This is a, um, a JPEG that I created in Photoshop. And basically I just click new and this black and white image popped up and it has to be black and white uh, so you can use the masking effect in it to manipulate the brushes okay so let's try that and see what that looks like let's increase the brush size by holding shift and middle mouse button and let's see we can okay and it pull that out it made those little gill things on his on his head there okay control Z to undo uh, let's look at something else uh, the flatten tool uh, you can actually use that to flatten surfaces the grab tool you can grab and pull on material Uh, the pinch tool you can pinch material and, and see how it pinches all of pinch the eye between the the brow there control Z to undo um, the inflate tool let's I didn't want to select the eyeball there. Let me unselect it, and that's how you select. See, uh, that's how you select uh, different items in the model. 
the, uh, the eyeball is actually kind of dull looking but if I select it it inverts the, the highlight so we're still going to work with the face here uh, the inflate tool Let's see if we can inflate something let's invert it and see what that does if you notice it's pushing the the head in so let's control Z to undo that control Z again let's invert it and now his head is swelling so control Z All right. Uh, the crease tool is a good tool because uh, uh, that's how I actually made the lips first I actually drew them with the draw tool and then I kind of fine-tuned it with the uh, the crease tool so just kind of play around with these you know and, and, and see what they do and don't forget to use the invert uh, item here to make sure that whatever you're doing is going in the right direction whether you're pulling it or whether you're pushing it also you can change the material if you notice here this is the same color as the object that I have so if you select that then all of these come up and there's quite a few here so you can change that material to whatever you want to change it to let me do something crazy here. just give it a glassy look wow and it doesn't allow you to undo this here but you can uh, just select the material again and go and select the uh, the zebrush red wax color again and it puts it back to where it was and let's look at a couple of more of these um, you can go into wireframe mode where you can actually see the, the triangular shaped polygons uh, you can even mask and how mask works is basically your uh, painting onto the item itself if you notice it's not doing anything and it's because uh, you have to have it inverted remember this inverts all of these tools so since I've selected the invert I can mask that and if you try to um, to resize it watch what happens it only it, it it isolates it to the mask so that's good for making you know beards hair and different stuff like that and along with that you can actually use these tools to create uh, texture on the face um, by using the different brushes when you use the draw tool or some of the the other ones that will allow uh, you to use a image that you've created so that's neat so control Z again let's get rid of these and let's do Z to align and one other thing uh, you can change the strength of the brush or you can change um, how smooth the brush reacts let's try this let's see there I actually have the scale selected. I don't want to use the scale. Let's do Control Z. Let's do a regular draw tool type deal. Let's shift scroll to make the brush smaller. And if you notice, it's using this pattern to create uh, that. Now you can turn that on and off. Let's Control Z to get rid of that again and disable that by hitting the Enable button and it reverts back to the normal smooth brush let's do control Z and if you notice that uh, when I turn the strength down it it does it a little softer the it does well that well this is actually the the detail it actually reduces the amount of detail that you want to add to the object so if I turn the strength down of the detail then it really does it lightly if you notice so uh, you can play around with that and uh, hopefully this will help you to uh, learn how to use this program as I said earlier it's uh, it's a free program 
and hey, you can't be free. If you're new to 3D modeling, it's a great program to get started in. Uh, it reminds me of a program that I used to use called Amorphium when I first got into 3D modeling. And since then, I moved on to a couple of different uh, 3D modeling programs, which were more expensive. Uh, I'm actually using LightWave now. Uh, as I said earlier, this program is a sister program of um, ZBrush. So um, thank you guys for watching. And uh, send me some feedback. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and take care.